So Strand's quite cool. I like stuff that's quite cool. So here is every essential Strand build in one 10 minute guide. Hunters, ever wanted to bully a barrier champion for a minute straight? This build can do just that. We're using the exotic 6th Coyote, which gives us two dodge charges instead of one. In Snaring Slam, we use up your dodge, suspending everything around you when you land. The other Hunter Fragment is Widow's Silk, which gives you an extra grenade charge. If we utilize the suspend grenades, we now have four separate charges for abilities that suspend enemies. The grapple is fun, but isn't necessarily viable in higher difficulty activities. For Fragments, Thread of Mind will give us class ability energy for defeating suspended enemies. We've also got Thread of Continuity, which extends the duration of our suspensions. Thread of Generation, dealing any form of damage will give you grenade energy. And lastly, Thread of Warding, which gives us Woven Mail for picking up an Orb of Power. Some other options for this slot include Thread of Rebirth to create Threadlings on Strand Weapon Kills, Thread of Isolation to sever a target after landing rapid precision hits, and Thread of Ascent to reload your weapons when you throw your grenade. This last one was shot dead by Bungie in the latest update, but it's not unusable if you want to inch out some extra DPS in raids. Here's all the mods I have on. To summarise, we've got a Siphon mod to generate orbs, Impact Induction and Focusing Strike to farm ability energy off of our melee, Charged Up and Stacks on Stacks for an extra armour charge slot and bonus stacks on pickup respectively, Double Surge mods for bonus damage, and Time Dilation to extend the timer on our armour charges. I've found a Glaive to be particularly useful with this build. Simply suspend everything around you with a grenade or slam attack, and then proceed to poke all the enemies to death to get most of your class ability energy back. Another good idea could be using a shotgun like Conditional Finality to kill suspended mages and champions. Chances are I'm not going to get it for another 6 months, so excuse my lack of gameplay. Overall I give this build a 7 out of 10, with 10 being Starfire Protocol Warlock and 1 being Knucklehead Radar Hunter with Cerberus plus 1. This Hunter Strand build performs really well in casual content and even better in legend content, but falls off very slightly in harder content since you don't want to be flipping and jumping in front of your enemies when they can all one hit you. There are also some Hunter builds circulating that use Star Eater scales to buff up your super damage. While this can be useful for an easy one phase on bosses, you get this bonus for around 15 seconds every few minutes, so I'm not the biggest fan. I've also seen some builds utilise crit, 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 this guy's facade. It gives you woven mail when you grapple, which is good, but not good enough to warrant using an exotic that looks like a dead pigeon. Radiant Dance Machines also work with Ensnaring Slam, for some reason, provided you dodge near enemies beforehand. It can be fun, but it's nowhere near as versatile as Sixth Coyote. And as mentioned before, jumping and flipping in front of powerful enemies is just going to get you killed. Warlocks. The Strand Warlock excels more at ad clear. You get Weaver's Trance for consuming a Shackle Grenade, which is just a little bit overpowered. When this buff is active, every single kill you get will release a suspending explosion. Enter Necrotic Grip with Osteostriga. Necrotic Grips create a poison explosion on melee kills, and kills with this poison release even more poison. The other fragment spawns Threadlings on casting a Rift, which isn't that useful in this build. For the fragments, firstly Thread of Mind. This is going to give you class ability energy for defeating suspended enemies, giving you back your healing rift very, very quickly. Secondly, Thread of Continuity to extend the duration of our suspend effects. Thread of Warding will give you woven mail after picking up an orb of power, and Thread of Generation will give you grenade energy for damaging enemies. These are the exact same fragments as the Hunter build, I'm just realising that now. In place of either Warding or Continuity, you could go with Thread of Evolution to increase the effectiveness of your Threadlings, or Thread of Propagation to give you Unraveling Rounds after a melee kill, substituting for the artifact perk Allied Unraveling once this season ends. Here are all the mods I'm using on this build. We've got a Kinetic Siphon to spawn orbs and mod kills with a Rostia Striga. For the Gauntlets, Grenade Kickstart mods will give you some grenade energy back after you throw your grenade. I've also got Heavy Handed to spawn orbs with our Needle melee thing. Resist mods on the chest, Recuperation, Innovation and Absolution on the boots, and two Bombers and a Reaper on our bond. For this build I'll give it an 8 out of 10. It absolutely shreds through everything in strikes and lower end content, decimates everything in solo dungeons, but struggles a lot when it comes to higher difficulty nightfalls and lost sectors. There is a variation of this build that instead uses the Swarmers. Equipping these boots is going to allow you to swarm a Threadling when you destroy a Tangle and unravel targets damaged by Threadlings. This can be good, but it becomes a lot less viable in higher difficulty content where the Threadlings struggle to one hit enemies. If you're using this build, you'll want to switch out your Fragment's Continuity and Warding for Evolution and Rebirth. While this build isn't all that great in harder activities, it might become the next best alternative if the Exotic Grip build gets nerfed. The Threadling Grenade is also an option, but that gives this build even less endgame viability, so you do you. The Titan build is very similar to the Hunter in that it can suspend targets at will using its barricade. Where they differ, however, is that Titans just don't die. In these clips, I'm over 20 below recommended power, and yet the enemies are doing the damage equivalent of throwing sticks. 
you want to start out with the new exotic legs for your titan, Abiant Leap. This exotic improves your drag... not again. This guy's lash aspect by giving it two additional suspending projectiles, better tracking, and better range. Abiant Leap also gives you Woven Mail when you suspend an enemy. Woven Mail gives us 40-60% to 60 damage resistance, so you can see why this is so broken. By equipping a Shackle Grenade, you can get this Woven Mail by using 2 out of 3 of your abilities. The other Titan Aspect grants Woven Mail yet again by destroying a Tangle or activating a Super. The Aspect also states that your melee regeneration rate is increased while you have Woven Mail. For your Fragments, I firstly got Thread of Mind to give us class ability energy for defeating suspended enemies. Thread of Warding gives me Woven Mail for picking up an Orb. Thread of Generation to give us Grenade energy by dealing damage, because ideally you are, in fact, dealing damage. And finally, Thread of Transmutation. This states that getting a final weapon blow while you have Woven Mail will create a Tangle. Going back to the aspect from before, throwing or shooting this Tangle will again grant you Woven Mail. This essentially creates a loop where you can constantly have Woven Mail without even needing to think about your abilities. The effectiveness of this fragment might fall off in higher end content though, in which case I would switch this out for either Thread of Isolation or Thread of Continuity. I've also seen some builds use Thread of Fury, which will give you melee energy when you deal damage with a Tangle. However, I don't think this will be the most useful aspect since your melee is only really being used as a tool to get back your other two abilities. Here are the mods for this build. The most important mods are firstly a Siphon mod to generate orbs or multi-kills. Secondly, Heavy Handed to generate orbs or melee kills. Focusing Strike and Impact Induction will help regen your Barricade and Grenade respectively. We've also got Recuperation and Absolution on the legs, and Reaper and Bomber on the mark to help with Grenade cooldowns and generate more orbs. The Titan build is easily a 9 out of 10, if not a 10 out of 10. Pretty solid and low end content, but arguably the best subclass in the game for Master Lost Sectors and Nightfalls. Specifically, the Lost Sector run I did testing out this build was much, much easier on my Titan. Some other exotics I've seen include Heart of Inmost Light and Syntheseps. The Hoyle build is great if you want to spam your abilities, however the abilities themselves will be much weaker overall. The Syntho build is surprisingly really good, by switching to Grapple you can grapple melee everything and deal loads of damage provided you're near enemies. Again though, Synthos got nerfed in the latest update, so you do you. That was all the best strand builds in under 10 minutes. Let me know which subclass I should cover next, that's been it from me, bye.